Hello everyone and welcome to Mathematics Galaxy. So today we st uh, start a problem uh, which I posted in my page or group or uh, and Facebook profile that uh, and it is a very beautiful problem. I actually copied this from some mathematical group so which says that uh, n cube plus 5n is always divisible by 6 okay n cube plus 5n so it's very not very difficult not very easy so so many people and so ma some of my friends uh, like recommended me to use uh, the induction process of course there are two types of induction one is uh, first principle mathematical induction and the second one is the second principle mathematical induction so i tried the first principle of mathematical induction but it didn't go well so i stopped I stopped uh, applying the second principle mathematical induction because it is much more complex than first principle. So I tried something else and I think which is very clever. So let's just try to see that how I did it, uh, how I solved this problem. I never solved this problem. I just today woke up in the wake up from my sleep and just solved it. Okay, so let us see and let us try to solve the problem out. So at first you have to imagine that uh, the number six, if you if we you know try to break up the number 6 then you basically get two numbers one is 2 and another one is 3 so 6 equals to 2 into 3 so what we saw basically we saw that the number is divisible by 2 and then we saw the number is basically divisible by 3 okay so this is how we can prove that the number is basically divisible by 6 because the gcd of 2 and 3 is 6 so that's how it is and that's how simple it is okay so let us try that method because i don't know whether induction works or not but for me it, it didn't work so I just you know, stopped that. So we have this n cube plus 5n. Okay? Now how to prove that this is divisible by 2. So here you see that n cube and here is 5n. So if there is n cube. So let us just try to put that uh, 2. So if you put 2 here. So then n cube is even. And 5n is even. So the whole number is even plus even means it is even. And if the number is odd. So n cube is odd. Then 5n is of course odd so odd plus odd means even so the whole number is divisible by 2 okay so if uh, of course means uh, here n is basically the natural number so natural number is of two types so odd or even so uh, anyway this number always divisible by 2 but how to prove this that this number is divisible by 3 so to prove this number is divisible by 3 we basically apply uh, a rule which is called divisional algorithm so if you uh, divide any number by 3 divide any number by 3 then there are basically three remainders one is 0 another one is 1 another one is 2 so any number or any natural number can be written as like this like say 3m so 3m plus 1 and 3m plus 2 okay so any number any number can be expressed at least one of these forms so what we do we basically plug in these numbers here because of course n is natural number so if we plug in n equals to 3m you can just literally see that this number is divisible by 3 so this 3m part is almost obvious okay so all we have to do is to prove that for 3m plus 1 and for 3m plus 2 whether this number is divisible by 3 or not okay so that's what the main goal is so that's what we do so at first plug in 3m uh, plus 1 okay in this number so if you plug in that then what happens that 3, uh, 3m plus 1 whole cube plus 5 into 3m plus 1 so of course 3 cube m cube plus uh, 3 into 3 square m square into 1 plus 3 into 3 m into 1 plus 1 plus 15 m plus 5 so this is what we get so it is 27 m cube now plus 27 m square and here we have this and this so 3 and 50 means 24m plus we got uh, 6 okay so now you can take out 3 as common so 9m cube plus uh, 9m square plus 8m plus 2 so whatever this this might be is the integer and this is 3 this means the number is divisible by 3 okay so this is the case of when we plug in 3m plus 1 so this number is divisible by 3 and the last case is 3m plus 2 okay we have to plug in that so that uh, does do that so 3m plus 2 so this case is a much more easier and 5 into 3m plus 2 so now you just uh, solve this okay so it's very easy so 3 cube m cube plus 3 into 
3 into 3 square into n square into 2 plus 3 into 3m into 2 square plus 5 3 15m plus 10. So we have 27 m cube plus I think 27 into 2. Okay, 27 into 2. What, what is the number? Basically 54. So 54 m square plus we have 9 into 4. 36 m plus 15 m plus I think I missed some number here to be 8. So plus 8 plus 10 equals to 18. And from here you can you can just take 3 common. So if you take 3 common then it is 9 m cube. Okay. 3 18 m square 1 2 m plus 5 m plus 3. So this is an integer and this is divisible by 3 because we can can take 3 common. So anyway this number is always divisible by 3 and the trick here is we have to apply it is called sometimes a, a divisibility rule like GCD of 2 and 3 is basically 1 but this number is divisible by 2 as I said earlier and then again this number is divisible by 3 so this number is basically divisible by 6 so this is how simple it is but I do not try, always try to apply this induction process because induction can you know lead you to some dangerous places that you cannot get back. So that's how it is. It's uh, not that much simple, I thought, but it's uh, always simple when you know do correct. I mean, solve the problem. Okay, so that's it. And thanks for watching. And so this is how you should you know enjoy holidays. So this is a great way to enjoy holidays. Just think about some problems, and when the problem is solved, then holidays over.